is Val Everett with a national news briefing. Some welcome news for some 400,000 Aussies stuck overseas. The Prime Minister has backed the New South Wales government's plan to scrap quarantine for overseas arrivals from November 1st. That's as long as they're fully vaxxed and return a negative COVID test. But Scott Morrison reckons it won't just be a free-for-all for all international travellers. We're not opening up to everyone coming back to Australia at the moment. I want to be clear about that. It's for the federal government to decide when the border opens and shuts at an international level and we will do that. In the first instance, it will be for Australians, Australian residents and their family. Meantime, New South Wales is tipped to reach the 80% a double dose target this weekend, which means from Monday, dancing's back at the pub, no more masks in the office and caps on weddings and funerals scrapped. Southern Tasmania has been plunged into a three-day lockdown. It follows a one positive case, a man from New South Wales who travelled to Tasmania via Melbourne and breached hotel quarantine. Victoria's announced an extension of Mildura's seven-day snap lockdown to last until October 22. While concerns have been raised that New South Wales's quarantine announcement means overseas travellers can bypass quarantine in Victoria by flying into Sydney first. But the state's health minister, Martin Foley, says everyone just needs to relax. Everyone just needs to take a chill pill. We wish New South Wales, as we always do, every success and Victoria will go about its business understanding it's the Commonwealth who control the international borders. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. This weekend, WBBL matches are under a cloud with Southern Tassie plunged into a snap three-day lockdown. Games were to be played tomorrow and Sunday with the state's premier suggesting crowds will likely not be able to attend. And don't expect much from our Aussies when their T20 World Cup campaign begins next weekend against South Africa. Cricket scribe Robert Craddock says their lead-up form hasn't been all that good. Australia are ranked all the way down at number seven in T20 World Cup rankings below Bangladesh and it's not an undeserved ranking. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. Partly cloudy skies on the limestone coast this evening as we drop to 4 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, possible showers and 16. Sunday, possible showers again, 17. For radio podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.